I want to tell you a story. It's a story about strength and collaboration. It's a story about shared problems and real solutions. It's a story that you probably already know, but like all good stories, this one deserves telling again. The Greenwood School is nestled in a wide, sweet valley in the mountains of southern Vermont. It's a place where young men can come who've had a few school worries and big dreams, and then who will leave here a couple of years later, transformed by the experience. When they go, they will take some things with them that they didn't bring to school. They will take the skills necessary to succeed in a classroom and to build a life. They will take the confidence born of a long and worthwhile journey. They will take their particular brand of bravery and work ethic with them wherever they go. And they will always carry with them a keen understanding of the strength and power in community. Because there was never anything all that much different about these kids than any other kids in the first place. Yes, they may have had trouble reading or maybe with numbers, and some of them had short attention spans. Most of these kids were a little bit daunted by the idea of school. Plus, they struggled to get to class on time and stay focused and organized. Their parents worried about them and wondered if things would turn out okay. There was one big difference, though, between these kids and every other student they knew. They were luckier than the other kids they got to come to the Greenwood School. And because this is a good story, it has a happy ending. Like in every fairy tale, there were a few bears in the forest along the way. It wouldn't be literature without conflict. So their grades ebbed and flowed. They missed going to football games. Some were an airplane ride away from home and were homesick. And goodness knows, some still had trouble getting homework done on time. In short, they had good days and bad days on this journey, just like everybody else everywhere. Only at Greenwood, everyone was pulling for them. Their advisors, their tutors, their teachers were all in on it. Someone bought Gary three alarm clocks one Tuesday when all seemed lost. Someone else invited Liam over for fried chicken when mom was just too far away. At Greenwood, everyone wants the same thing. No one wants to teach Faulkner more than they want a student to love reading. Nobody wants to lower a grade because a student has trouble remembering when his project is due. Instead, they want to help them find strategies to get things done on time. It's a process and we're all in it together. And that's why this story has a happy ending. Just like everything else here at school, development is work we all do together. Annual giving is the way we share the load. Every year there's a gap between what we charge in tuition and what a premier Greenwood education with our high teacher-student ratio, proximity of service, and wild success actually costs. The gap is often 10% or more, and everyone pitches in and digs deep to make sure this gap gets closed. Our teachers donate and so do our students. Our alumni pitch in and so do our trustees. This is a group effort. When your child is at Greenwood, it becomes an extension of your home. And if the house needs a new roof, the people who live there have to figure out how to get it up. We are a small community and so we count on everybody. We want our faculty to be the most satisfied faculty there is. We want our residence halls to be cozy and comfortable. These kids are working hard and we want to make sure that everyone helping them has everything they need to make sure they succeed. Because of you and your commitment, Greenwood will keep churning out those happy endings. We need you. And because you are an important part of the story, we know you'll be there. <laughs>